Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to install Spiderfoot on Ubuntu 16.04. Now before we dive into the installation part of Spiderfoot on Ubuntu 16.04, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is meant by Spiderfoot. Spiderfoot is an open source intelligence automation tool. Its goal is to automate the process of gathering intelligence about a given target which may be an IP address, domain name, host name or network subnet. Spiderfoot can be used offensively that is as a part of black box penetration testing to gather information about the target or defensively to identify what information your organization is freely providing for attackers to use against you. In order to install Spiderfoot on Linux, we have to make it sure that we have Python 2.7 installed and in addition to Python 2.7, we have to install LXML, NetADDR, M2 Crypto, Cherry PY and Mako modules. Now you can see on the screen, I have opened the official website of Spiderfoot. You can see that the spiderfoot.net in order to get the latest news, data resources, download part, modular, which is which means that Spiderfoot is written into Python and is greatly designed to be highly extensible. It is having good visualizations with interoperable with Gelfi, how it is configurable and even you can get the latest news. And you can find that the latest version is version 2.7.0, which was released recently. And even you can find other regions that is called Spider for 2.6.1, 2.6.0 and 2.5.1 and even more. Now if you want to go into more detail, you can click on download. You can find the latest versions to be downloaded over here. We will be using the wget command in Ubuntu in order to download that. You are having important thing that is called blog in which you can find the all detailed features and updates regarding Spiderfoot about its current as well as the previous versions. If you click on features, you can find the three main areas where Spiderfoot can be useful. That is if you are a pen tester, if you are a network administrator and even if you are working into the threat intelligence or working towards finding some flaws into the network. You can find more re features and resources into this, which means that it is highly maxim data extraction, runs on Linux and Windows, visualizations, web-based UI, highly configurable, modular, SQLite backend, simultaneous scans, and much more. And even more on data resources, you can find more over information over here, and even much more. And if you click on gallery, you can find the screenshots of Spiderfoot and all these type of screenshots we will be seeing in just a couple of minutes when we will be installing. And over here you can find detail regarding Spiderfoot documentation. So how to install, how to use and what other features. Now let's not waste time and let us go to our virtual machine in which we have installed that is Ubuntu 16.04 on VMware Workstation and in that I will be telling you how to install Spiderfoot step by step using the commands. And all the commands which I am going to use in this video are available downstairs so that you can find no problem in installing Spiderfoot after watching this video. So here is the machine. So let us first of all log in with my login. Now you can see here are the steps. So you can say only seven simple steps and we are through. So let us first of all log in with root with the command su space minus and let us give the password. Now the first thing which we have to do in everything that is to update the system. So let us type the command apt hyphen get update. Now because it's a new version, so as I have already told you that the updating command in Ubuntu 16.04 is somewhat slow. So you have to bear uh, with the, you can say, the speed and the parameters of the programmers. So let's wait for the update. It will take some time. Now you can see that it has started and update is done. So now we can see that the update is already there. So now what we have to do because as I've already told you that Spiderfoot 2.7 or Spiderfoot any version is written into Python. So Python and some of his dependencies like Python PIP, Python M2 Crypto, Net ADDR and even Cherry Pi and Mako all to be installed. So let us copy paste this command so that we can install all types of Python based dependencies. So let's paste this and press enter. You can see that it is about 41 MB of archive. So depending on your net connection speed, it will take less than a minute or maybe less than 30 seconds. So let's wait and let us start the operation for the download part. So the installation at the first machine will take some time. So you can see that it has started downloading. That is libpython. Some library files are starting downloading. 
and with a good speed you can see that it will take less than two minutes but I'm expecting even much more so uh, before it gets installed let me say you that uh, spiderfoot is one of such as tool which is very important for pen testers and even for hackers so in order to find the loopholes or you detect the open doors etc etc so all the information will be available to you via graphs and very beautiful graphs it make when I was researching on Spiderfoot, so I was able to find those graphs even which was not being visible by Nmap or even Superscan or some other scanning softwares. So as a hacker, uh, I would surely like to take this tool with me in the coming field works uh, to my clients and to the field areas. So it's a good tool to learn, it's a good tool to keep with yourself and it's a good tool to research. So you can see that the lib python is about 27.8 MB. It will take some time. So all these steps are there which we can see that after the installation of python based dependencies we will be installing CherryPy and Mako and after that we will be downloading the Spiderfoot software. I am using 2.6.1 because it is stable but 2.7 was still having some bugs but even you can install it 2.7 over here so 2.7.0 it will be okay and uh, you can find all these steps and we will be opening our browser with this command with 5001 which is the port which is reserved for Spiderfoot. So it will be taking uh, you can say installation will take about four to five minutes depending on your net connection speed. So almost 50% of the download for lib python is being done and we have to wait for some time because I'm having about 138 kbps of speed coming from my net connection. So till it happens let us pause the video for some time. So now you can see that it has downloaded and now we will not take much time in order to download all these python based dependencies. Yes so now you can see that it has fetched about 4 minutes and 41 MB and now it is unpacking all the libraries and after that it will be setting up. So this was the main requisite before we install Spiderfoot. So Python 2.7 is being downloaded and installed, you can see. And all the Python M2 crypto ADDR is being installed. So let's clear this first of all. And now what we have to do is to install CherryPy and Mako by using this command PIP. So let us copy this and let us paste it. So it is collecting the CherryPy. So the cherry pie has been installed and now let us install the Mako. So it is another requisite for Python as well as for Spiderfoot. So it has been done. Okay, so let's clear this and now what we have to do is to download the Spiderfoot software. So let's go with this wget and again I repeat instead of using 2.6.1 you can even replace with the latest versions. So 2.7 was somewhat very unstable so I was using 2.6.1. So let us install and download it and you can see that it is not very heavy MB, it is about a 1.4 MB of software. So we are almost there, yes, so it has been downloaded, so let us see this, so Spiderfoot 2.6.1 is being downloaded, so let, now let us install and extract it. So let's copy this and let us paste it. So let us go inside that software. And now what you have to do, let's clear this. Now what you have to do is to run this Python script that is sy, spiderfit. So dot slash sy dot pf. Sorry. sf dot py. Sorry. So you can see that the engine is being started. Now what we have to do is to open the web browser. And now what we have to do is to give this web address. Yeah. So let's type this web address. And now you can see that uh, Spiderfoot is being there. So what we have to do is to click on new scan. 
so let us type the name of the scan that is scan this scan computer okay so C target can be the IP address so let us find the IP address of this machine okay so let us uh, skip this even okay so the IP address is 192.160.117.216 so let's copy this and let us paste it so let us click on run scan so you can see that the scan is being running and very soon it will be downloading and evaluating the scans and the machine so all the modules are being loaded now and very soon we will be seeing the graph also so here you can click on graph okay so here is the IP address graph will be there but it will be taking some time so all the scan settings are also there and if you click on browse you can find the IP address of this machine so even you can give the IP address of other host machines or anything else so in this video I have uh, demonstrated how to install Spiderfoot 2.6.1 software on Ubuntu 16.04 so I hope you like this video so do give this a shot do keep this software in your hand when you're going on the field for some penetration testing so do share the, with this video with your friends thank you so much for watching